Well, that didn't take long for the results to come in. Is Johnny Sauter suspended or not? Well, we'll find out here in just a few seconds. What's going on, guys? Cool 200 here back with another video. Welcome back to the NASCAR Lounge. Uh, recording on my phone, so if it looks a little different, um, that's why. Uh, my iPad over there is actually uploading uh, yesterday's video, or I guess early this morning's video. Yeah, I was stupid enough uh, to wake up and completely forget to upload the video, so it came out really late. Uh, so, I guess a triple, triple video today if this one actually gets uploaded at the right time, but we'll see. Anyways, today we are here to talk about the incident between... Uh, Johnny Sauter and Austin Hill. If I said Brett Moffat a lot in this video, I'm sorry. I don't know why, but Brett Moffat is in my head. Anyways, so basically what happened was uh, Johnny Sauter and Austin Hill uh, were battling pretty tough at Iowa Speedway on Sunday. I guess uh, jo uh, Johnny Sauter bumped Austin Hill out of the way to pass him early on in the race. Uh, and then kind of in the middle to end of the race, Austin Hill would actually get under Johnny Sauter, turning him into the wall. If you guys haven't seen that video, um, it's pretty much all over the internet. Unfortunately, I cannot edit this video or else this footage would definitely be in here. But I'm sure you, most of you guys have seen it by now and have heard about this story. And then on the cool down lap or the caution lap, uh, Johnny Sauter went up to Austin Hill and pretty much spun him around and uh he would be parked for the rest of the race now this is kind of similar but not really to kyle bush versus ron hornaday uh ron hornaday of course running for a championship uh ron hornaday just barely got loose under kyle bush they both got up into the wall basically a harmless accident but kyle bush took it way too far getting all over the back bumper and spinning both trucks into the outside wall very very heavy contact and damage as they were going, I think, probably 120, maybe 150 miles an hour uh, when they crashed. So this one, they were going about 50, 60, you know, just a harmless kind of kind of accident, but still should not have been uh, tolerated. So that happened. And uh, so with that uh, incident between Johnny or <laughs> Johnny Sauter, um, Ron Hornaday and Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch was actually suspended from running one cup race because of what happened in the truck series. And I think he was, was he allowed to drive for the rest of the season in the truck series with the remainder of the races he had? I, I can't, I don't think he was, but don't quote me on that one. It's been, it's been a while, so... But that's kind of the only incident we can kind of compare that to in the truck series. Um, but very, very minor for Johnny Sauter and uh, Austin Hill. But Johnny Sauter, it was confirmed yesterday at this point that he is suspended one race in the uh, uh, Gander Outdoor Truck Series. And uh, But interesting note here, if you miss a race and you're locked into the chase, you are no longer locked in. Um, pretty much like your win kinda means nothing, but when you are apparently suspended, you are still eligible for the chase as it's stated on Instagram. That is the post that I saw um, from Fox, NBC, NASCAR, you know, that whole group, um, that Johnny Sauter would still be eligible for the uh, Truck Series playoffs. So I guess that's one good thing for him. Uh, I don't think there's any confirmation on who will be taking over the 13 um, for that one race. I'm not even maybe they won't even run the 13, but they most likely will. Um, in fact, they they probably have to because of sponsorship, right? But that's really gonna hurt the sponsorship too with Johnny Sauter, their driver, uh, being suspended. But uh, for the sides that I'm hearing, like I said, I didn't really watch the race, so I'm not gonna really try and take. Uh, too hard of a side here um, from what it sounds like and what the feedback that I got was that Austin Hill was pushed up the hill 
barely by uh, Johnny Sutter early on in the race, and then Austin Hill, uh, and I saw the replay on this one, kind of dove down and kind of looked intentional to take out Sutter. Maybe he didn't mean to wreck him. In fact, he probably didn't mean to wreck him, but probably give him kind of the same uh, treatment, slide him up the hill, but it did ultimately uh, put Johnny Sutter uh, backed up into the wall, and uh, then Johnny Sutter, of course, retaliated. Now, I do agree with uh, where NASCAR went on this one. That is pretty much uh, uh, not tolerated. Um, so I kind of like that idea. I like Johnny Sauter. I actually like Austin Hill too, but I think the the way NASCAR went was uh, was good. Because um, that stuff's just really... I mean, people can get hurt, you know. And it this is supposed to be the cool down lap, you know. And I agree, NASCAR should not tolerate this, and they certainly didn't. And they told Johnny Sauter, hey, you're, you're uh, suspended for a race, so... Um, I don't think it should be any more than a race. You know, it was just a harmless little spin. Um, Austin Hill barely received any damage. I know he's received a little bit of the back end and a little bit of the left side, but wasn't too severe. I think he actually managed to get, like, a 15th place finish, I think I heard, or, like, kind of close to the top 10, somewhere around there. So it didn't total his uh, race. I think Johnny Sauter was pretty much done. His whole back end was just the tailgate and the bed of the truck was pretty much pushed. Um, so I don't think they could have got that truck fixed. And even if they did, he would have probably been like, I don't know, uh, 15 laps down maybe. But, yep, so John Sider parked and now, uh, of course, um, suspended. So I know a lot of NASCAR fans are going to be taking uh, sides here. I am kind of on either side. Because it kind of sounded like Austin Hill's kind of right here where, you know, he probably didn't mean to wreck Johnny Sauter now. Ultimately, um, the pretty much outcome was that he did, but if he didn't really mean to intentionally wreck him, then I'm kind of on Austin Hill's side. Now, if Johnny Sauter was intentionally wrecked. I am kind of more on Johnny's side, although he should have took a uh, different approach on the, uh, the retaliation of what happened. I think maybe he should have did the veteran thing and get out of the uh, truck after the race and go have uh, a discussion with him. Not a fight or anything, but like a little discussion. Maybe see what happened and uh, get get his side on it and not just uh, go up there on the cool down lap and just ultimately take him out. I think that's a little irresponsible on Johnny Sauter's side and I think maybe Johnny should, uh, should look back at that and be like, hmm, that was a stupid move. Because it was a stupid move. Anyways, guys, this is just my quick little video on the discussion between Johnny Slaughter and Austin Hill. I'm not really on either side. Um, I kind of wish I watched the truck series now because that sounded like a pretty dang good race. But anyways, guys, yeah. Uh, no other news on uh, Brett Moffitt or um, Ross Chastain, if Ross Chastain guys went back or not. Again, I don't think he did or will. I think the confirmation is supposed to be today, but this uh, video was recorded last night. So, if there's any confirmation, I am late on it, but I am very sorry. Um, if Ross Chastain did get his win back, well, congratulations, Ross Chastain. Well deserved. And uh, if Brett Moffitt is still declared your Iowa winner, then I guess congratulations to Brett Moffitt. Not exactly deserved, but he was in second, and Brett Moffitt's a great driver, so... Yeah, another fan favorite, I guess. But anyways, guys, that's my show. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Let me know, which side are you on, Johnny Sauter or Austin Hill? Would love to see that down in the comments below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please follow me on all the social links in the description. Get all the racing news on Twitter and get all the channel news like diecast reviews, maybe what, what, uh, maybe what, video is uploaded next uh get all that news on my instagram page i've been very active on those lately and i hope you come join me on there love to talk to you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video triple header today if this video comes out that's uh that's a little scary I haven't done that since 2016 2017 so anyways guys long outro peace out where's my camera there it is stop